Hey guys, welcome back to our Dane Bricks. Today I'm reviewing set number 41124, aka Aria's Airship and the Amulet Chase. This set comes with a goblin and two mini dolls, Aria and Emily Jones. I'm going to look at the mini dolls first and then I'll show you the goblin. So first off we have Aria. She is one of the elves. Um, her entire outfit is purple. Well, her entire skirt in the previous years there's been some white on it. Her top is mainly purple as well. Here's her from the back. No printing on the back. One on her, there's a slight print on her arm of like the wind symbol. And she has that symbol again right there on her shirt, if you can see. And has a circlet printed on her face. And the same thing on her arm printed on her cheek. So this is the mini doll. She has a pretty hair. She's buildable, so that means you can build her. She comes apart. Her hair is purple and white, light purple. It's actually the same color as this right here. Next we have Emily. She is, I believe, the main character in this elf series. Um, she has green eyes, freckles, striped shirt, skirt, um, right, she has, uh, what are they called? Well, sneakers on. Her amulet, which is cool, because her other mini dolls don't do this, it actually comes off. Sorry, that's kind of creepy. Okay, see? It actually comes off, and it's not just printed on her torso, like from previous years. And um, in the sets that come with the amulet, the amulet has another amulet attached to it as well. So you get an extra amulet with each set that comes with the amulet, which is cool. This is the only set Aria is available in, and um, Emily Jones is only available in one other set. The Goblin King's Fortress. This set also comes with a goblin right here. He is the Captain Goblin. You can tell because of... He just looks important with that eye patch, doesn't he? He, um... I'm gonna take him off. Okay. He has a map on one side, or like a rolled up piece of parchment on one side of his belt, and a rope on the other. I'm sorry that the camera's not focusing. He has a rolled up piece of parchment on one side of his belt, and a rope on the other has an eye patch and a smirk i believe he's the captain but i'm not sure like of the um cronin's army next i'm going to show you his ship which is or like jet thing flying thing which is this it's pretty handy for trying to capture people as it has two bullets it also has a thing in the back I just have, this is his orders to get the amulet back there. Opens and closes. I don't know why the wings are on top. Maybe just to make it look cool. He has the eye. There are stickers in the set and this is one of them right here, unfortunately. Um, the goblin gets in his thing like this. That's how he holds, sits in it. So yeah, this is the goblin's little flying thing. Oh yeah, and the bullets are actually the eatable plant seeds, or eating people plant seeds, Venus flytraps. Now for Arya's airship. This is actually um, quite big and it can fit a, several, more than just two mini dolls. Um, 
on, in this little container right here, which is the weapons box, it has a boomerang with Arya's air, like the wind elf symbol on it, an extra bullet for this crossbow right here, which guys, it does shoot. Oh, it shoots these little things, which means if you have extra um, of these, you can very easily never run out of bullets. <laughs> so that's that. This goes on the ship right here. You can see the thing. Maybe. It goes here. And there. This big balloony part right here is made of plastic. Um, there's a secret trap drawer right here. I don't know if you can see it. it. Has a book in it and a map and a couple cherries. I don't know why the cherries are there. Oh, I have this upside down? I have no clue. It could be upside down and it could not. But that's the book, that's the trap door. Um, stairs here to get up to this deck right here. The wheel turn, so does this thing. So, um, about the thing that lifts the wings up, most of the time it breaks. And I haven't really been able to pull the wings up once without it breaking. Just so you know, so you can put them up yourself. But like, it broke when I tried to do it. In order to fix it, I have to like, dismantle the ship kind of like this which unfortunately see you can kind of see the mechanisms I gotta get the boomerang out of there <laughs> it just breaks if you pull too hard or sometimes even if you don't it just breaks so that's something you have to be careful of at least that's the way it is in my set at least that's the way it is in my set so yep quite breakable that part is so The only thing I'd say about the balloon that I didn't like was um, how it came apart when you tried to pull it. This is me just trying to get it back together. <laughs> Which also shows you how these work then. They literally are just um, plastic pieces like this and they have a clip here and a clip here. And you clip it to one of these things here, which by the way, the same piece, you, it looks like this. Just clip it to one of the sides, and then you clip it to the something that's exactly the same in the front. And that's what the um, balloon part is made out of. Plastic, and that's how it's made. Thank you for watching this episode of Our Dane Bricks. We'd appreciate if you subscribe to our channel, um, leave a comment, and like this video. Thanks. Bye.